Okay, we have audio and we will be streaming shortly. And I think I'll get rid of the thing that says we'll be streaming shortly because it is getting kind of redundant. Okay. So, oops, I had the correct page up. Hello and welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be doing, well, we're going to plan to be doing stuff that we won't be doing, but let's pretend. Um, I'm actually not in the mood for streaming today, but um, usually I stream and program at the same time, at least ever since I started streaming. Uh, so I'm going to try it for a few minutes, and if I don't like it, uh, I'll screw it. And so you might say, well, that's really not really very nice to my, to your, you know, to my viewers, if there are any. Uh, and the answer is, you know, even though I like to say that this stream is all about the viewers and stuff, it's, it's not. It's about me. I'll do whatever the hell I want. Okay. Um, also, I did not check my blood sugar before streaming today because I think I've got my hypoglycemia under control. But if I don't, I will g have low blood sugar on the stream and you get, can be all excited, excited about that. Okay. Past couple of days, we were looking at creating a data server using uh, CGI, not computer graphics, but uh, CGI, common gateway interface. But there's a couple of problems with that. Um, and let's see. So we were doing this BC read bin file, which tries to get that data out of the squash files. Um, but we actually had something else here. I think we had a, well, I don't remember. Let's see what I was working on before this. I think I actually created a um, fairly nice um, program that listens, uh, that was a CGI program. Um, but of course I probably put it somewhere that's really hard to reach because that's kind of what I do. Um, Read bin file. There, there was definitely one that you know tried to uh, that I even tested on DigitalOcean. Um, and let's see if we can get to it from there. Because I also remember making the directory visible. Oh yes, I called it test. Wait, 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 wait. Really? Wow. That that was okay. So I was gonna do it like that, but apparently all I did is get as far as writing a test script which does work, but there's a problem with this, um, and more than one, actually. One problem is every time you call a CGI script, it starts up new, and if you're going to have a program that reads large files and seeks in those large files to get data, you don't really want that happening every time. Now, because of file system caching, you get a little bit of benefit there, but not really that much. You, you really still don't want to be opening files every single time someone does a data call. The um, the second reason is because I've already written one, and I'd forgotten about it. Um, and this one is a standalone server that listens on a um, that listens on a port, and um, it actually does things. <coughs> um, it actually does give back data, but right now I think the format it gives data back in is binary or something really weird or, um, honestly, I don't know. Um, it does start listening on a port and then you can s you can connect to it and send it stuff. Um, but the problem I think is, first of all, it's not secure. And second of all, I'm not sure I can access it from JavaScript or it's not that easy to access from JavaScript because it is not even pretending to be an HTTP or HTTPS server. Um, the other problem with it is um, I got really excited about um, equirectangular projections to the point where if you actually look at the um, GitHub pages, um, um, if I can find the GitHub pages, there we are. I th think that's wrong. Um, if you look at the bad map here that has all these little overlays on it, you may have noticed something kind of funky. You may have noticed that Greenland isn't freaking huge like it is on real Mercator map. Well, actually, it is pretty freaking big, isn't it? Hmm. Did I anti-anti-screw this up? Um, th I mean, the grid will tell me that I'm not actually have not... Stand by. Um... Okay, maybe I maybe I double effed this because uh, I think ooh, maybe I didn't. I thought I went sort of equal rectangular on this, which is why, by the way, you'll notice that the name Kulitnanet, which is the name the formal name for Greenland, 
is in very, very crunched letters. So if I do the grid, it should also show this. Yeah, it should show that basically these up here, these tiles are squashed in the vertical direction uh, because uh, I am reprojecting from Mercator to uh, equirectangular. And I was really excited about this uh, because Mercator is not a great way to project the world. Uh, equirectangular I thought was better, but it's not perfect either because we have a spherical world and uh, orthographic is probably the best way to do it, which is the way Google does it now, but not for their APIs, but I, I think it's really difficult. And I did look into that actually. Um, I should probably put that up on, actually I should probably put that up on here because it is um, vaguely interesting. Um, it's on one of my REPLs that I have sort of a spherical map, uh, but it, it's really hard. You use um, the JS 3D library. It's not D3, it's the other one. 3.js. Uh, you can create, uh, you know, you can create textures on a sphere that make it look like the world, but it turns out that it's really hard to zoom into. I mean, it's very hard to sort of do generically. Um, so this is a equirectangular map, but it, and so one of the weird things it does, if I can find Anchorage here, um, and not by Anchorage, I mean the city of Anchorage, Alaska, not like Anchorage to some sort of, uh, you know, Anchorage to some sort of life decision. Um, it actually doesn't look, yeah, you'll notice that the street names are squished because of this, but one of the weird things is, um, which I don't think I'm going to have time to show here, I, I, or I'm too lazy to show here, is if you look at streets that kind of go, that in real life go northeast, here they look like they're going like, you know, mostly east and very little north. And that's because of the, of the squishing factor, because Mercator does preserve relative direction uh, like equirectangular equi doesn't. So I was really hot on that. So this server that I've written um, is very, very big on, on uh, using the equirectangular projection. It does not assume the uh, projection that, um, that um, the Mercator projection, which is the sort of the de facto projection that OpenStreetMaps uses, at least for now. So we will have to change that as well. Uh, in addition to that, and of course, we, right now we want data to be, um, yeah, let's see. Now this is actually a pretty cool command, gdal translate, because uh, it does give you the data that you want in a, in a binary file, uh, which is even technically GPS correct. Uh, it, it uses uh, EHDR, which is a valid GPS format. Uh, although it does mean that every time you, uh, every time someone wants something, they have to call this has to call another function, uh, which is still pretty bad, actually. Uh, for some stuff, like vector maps, there might be no way around that. I mean, unless you want to put the uh, put this functionality somehow into the Perl script. But for uh, raster maps, there should be a way to read them myself by just using um, just using the various uh, you know Perl file commands and seeking and stuff like that. So. Um, now the weird thing here here is I don't even know. Let's see if there's a README here. That would be helpful, huh? It probably is not. Ooh. Wow. So this is all the kind of crap like Jesus Christ. Hang on. Um. So there's a lot of data here, and these are a lot of to-dos to add even more data to it. But. But, 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 I'm trying to see if there's a way that tells me how to pull this, um, how to actually use this server. Jesus Christ. Um, okay. Okay. Um, GM Ted, by the way, is an older way of looking at elevations. Uh, wow. I'm impressed with how much work I did before that I forgot about. I'm getting too old. Okay. So let's see if these basic commands work. Um, I I don't think they will. Uh, and there's another problem with them, even if they do work. But let's. I'll go ahead and run it on localhost. Obviously, that's not going to be accessible to the rest of the world. Um, let's see if that... Okay. 
kind of wish it told me what port it connected to, but I think it's going to be um, 22779, uh, which, by the way, if you... Hello, we're... Work, work, work commands, work, damn it. Hello, Wordwin, uh, with the funny spelling, but I love you anyway. Um, by the way, and the port that it runs on, just I'll finish that sentence... 22778, if you put it, if you dial it on the phone pad, it is B-A-R-R-Y Barry. So, because I'm so special. Okay, so now, if this works, I'd like to see if we can access it from JavaScript, even though, and we'll have to put it on a DigitalOcean server, obviously, to get that going. Uh, by the way, uh, Wordwin, if you have any questions, want to change the subject, anything, please. This is me being bored until someone shows up, which usually never happens, so it's bored pretty much all the time. Um, so NCAT is the way to connect to something just sort of directly, and I don't know if it takes this, um, I don't think it does, actually. Yeah. Uh, you have to say NCAT and then minus P port number. No! No, 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 I don't want to do that. I want to... Okay. Well, if that would... You, the NCAT stuff? I don't... Uh, I'm a little bit behind, so do you mean the NCAT stuff would happen or something else? Uh, somewhere in here there might even be a way to test the bloody thing. Um, you know what? I think... Oh, okay, so you're working too. This is kind of bad. The whole point of Twitch is to get people to stop working, so the fact that two of us are working is like, we're kind of double damned here. Um, and actually, I forgot, there actually is a... If it would be good if I was in the right directory. There is actually even a map server testing program. Isn't that nice? Um, oh, right. I was just looking at the code here. Um, okay. What? Um, what the hell is this? Oh, nope, still don't know. All right, well, let's see what the hell this does. I'll just run. I just like running stuff without knowing what it does. Um, I know, I know, I've watched the movie. It's very strange. Teehee, I'm hoping that was supposed to be an emote, because just saying teehee is a little bit, and I, there's nothing wrong with being gay, but it's like super gay. It's gay even for gay people. But if that was supposed to be an emote, that's cool. If you actually said tee hee, uh, little gay, little gay. Um, office space is your way of kind of working is maybe what we're saying here. I know it's different from the office. So let's just run this and see what the hell happens. Um, okay. That is... Okay, good. So that was a tee hee emote. Word win, without, I don't know what his sexual preference is, or even if he's a he, um, but he's not super gay, because he didn't use tee he as a, um, as a word, he used it as an emote, and that's okay. Okay, so now I need to go, okay. Okay, and I do need to mount my squash files. By the way, it turns out that all the lovely squash files I was creating, um, um, we're in population, I think. No, no, I finally did it in Squash FS. There we are. Uh, it turns out all the ones I was creating is stupid because I actually turns out I already have one Squash file with all of these things in it, and I just forgotten about it. So I am just incredibly stupid. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and fix that now. Uh, I, I, will, I will have a remain incredibly stupid. So let's see. I'm going to remove all these Squash files and move in the correct one here. Or maybe I'll just sim link it because I like having multiple sim links. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. So this should bring bin data dot squish over here. Good. And now I should be able to. Do I have my own personal little mount? I do. Um. Uh, but this expects it to be a mount squash. Well, I can do that. 
Oh, hang on. Did I already do that? Aha! I called it three different things that don't need to exist. Mount data, mount pop count, both of them. Whoa. Am I still mounted on mount data? That is freaking awesome. It's amazing that it survives. Okay. Oh, actually, the weird thing about this is if you do this, it won't, because it doesn't see a match for Mount Pop, it won't even delete this one. Very strange. But now, Squash Fuse. It is Pomodoro time. I'm ignoring it because it's the first one. So, Squash Fuse. Um, tilde Squash FS bin data, and we'll see what it, it looks like in just a second here. Mount Squash. Um, and I think I'm going to have to do a pseudo here, maybe. Yeah. Um, but let me just pseudo chone minus or I don't know why I need the minus. I don't need the minus or. Okay. And so now what does Mount Squash look like? It has climate, land use, population count, population density, and even something called slope, which is kind of the derivative of elevation. Uh, but kind of not. They, they, it's, it's all weird and different somehow. So now, can I run the testing program? Can't locate BC map server lib. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, this should actually be, um, um, no, I think it's get home maps. Cause in the, cause I, 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 if I could run it from the maps directory, that would have worked, but let's be, can't locate This should be BC lib. Get home. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. Holy crap. So that either did or didn't work. I have no fucking idea. Um, I was trying to be clever here by putting the data into binary format that's easier to parse. Uh, sorry, that's more compressed. Not e it's harder to parse. Um, because, because I'm passing back like 65,536 pixels, which is a lot of pixels. Um, and passing them back as integers is probably not a great idea. However, um, I think I might have to, premature optimization is the root of all evil is something that Knuth says, Donald Knuth, a uh, well-respected computer scientist. And I think this might be a case where I'm trying to be optimized too early. I think I should just go ahead and do it with JSON first. If that's too slow, try to find a faster way of transporting the data. Um, now, the problem here is, now we're running this on localhost, so we can't do anything with it, but I can put it on my DigitalOcean server, uh, but we still won't be able to do anything with it unless JavaScript can read it. And now I'm pretty sure at one point I tried to write or succeeded in writing a replet that does what I want but I don't actually remember. So let's go to my replets. Uh, my repls. Twitch API client. That sounds like probably what we're doing. Very much Twitch meaning that I did the work on Twitch. API client, let's see what this does. Uh, crap. Oh crap, do I have something called BC API? I probably do. Hang on. I'm a moron. Oh, wait, what, what the hell? Where the hell is BC API? <laughs> uh, let's see, I might have ended up putting it at a higher level. Okay. Stand by while I try to find this elusive BC API. Uh, BC API. Oh, I apparently created a subdirectory for it. So maybe I have done more work than I thought. Um, yeah, this is what I remember doing. So this is actually a, a CGI that works. Uh, and it returns things, but let's see. Oh, I did this for my um, 
to get the Terminator program to work. Yes, this is a different. This is an API for Terminators, not an API uh, for uh, land use data. I mean, we could we could merge them. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the this is the one I did because I wanted to create an API uh, that was very simple. Now, another thing we could do here, which I'm trying to avoid doing, uh, is to use a proxy server. In other words, still call BC API, but have it send data to the other server and then have it receive data from the server and and spit it back. Um, which would be like really super clever, but also it's obviously going to slow things down. Um, so let's see. I mean, in a way, it would be nice to have a unified API, which is what we're kind of going for. Um, instead of having two separate APIs, one that listens, you know, one that uh, listens on the server and the other one that listens um, uh, listens on a web server and one that listens on a different port. So I will now think about that deeply and have decided... Uh, Again, premature optimization is the root of all evil. Must repeat that to myself. So I think maybe the server that I'm designing that's standalone, um, maybe the uh, API can talk to it. Now, there's another thing I don't like about the API, aside from the fact that everything I write sucks. And that is, if I break even one line here in the API, it'll break the whole API. It would be nice if we could um, move these functions, like BC API Terminator, out to separate a separate libraries, um, so when I break one thing, it doesn't break everything. Um, I'm saying I'm not going to do that, but that would be a nice thing to do. Okay, so now our goal is going to be to merge this API, um, and let's see. Yeah, you know what, though? I think even though I'm not going to necessarily do that, we can clean things up a little bit uh, by doing BC API functions PL. And then over here, just doing a require of that. Um, okay, crap. The problem here is, of course, it has to be git home API BC API functions .pl. Can I test? I don't know if I can even test this here. I mean, I can by using end variable query string. Um, oh, yeah. Um, oh, by options in the command line version. I am so smart. Um, okay, I did make a provision for, didn't document it, but I did make a provision for using options instead of using, uh, instead of using the query string. Okay, so now... Kingdom for some documentation. Oh, okay, we have a readme. Ooh, shiny. Okay. Um, command line usage. Uh, BC API PL uh, minus minus F equals um, function minus minus A um, is that right? Wow. I mean, I know I can go. I, c I can go back to my. Um, I can go back to my other videos and watch, but that would require watching my videos, which I don't want to do. Um, I think if I do this, nothing's going to happen. BC API, did I not say, did, is this empty and therefore, where the hell am I? Oh, I guess I never saved it. Oh god, okay, so now at least it sees it, so this is just, um, and one is true, as true as it can be, man. All right. Um... Terminator? 
Okay. And I think by default it does that, those things, and, um, okay. So that is that. Oh, and I think the other function I added was, ooh. Yeah, the other function I added was time, which is mostly for testing. So the functions we're gonna add now, and let's see. We're going to have to kind of merge it with the other one. Um, no, with the um, map server. Uh, testing. No. Nope. Map server. Actually, no, it is BC map server testing that we're going to try to emulate. Now, here's where it gets sort of ugly. How do I want to open a socket to localhost? There's a Perl way of doing it, and there is an NCAT way of doing it. And, I mean, Perl is technically the correct way of doing it. Um, so I guess we'll do it that way. VC API. What do we call this? Mm. I don't know what, well, this is actually different, because data is different from computed values. Data server. And I'm going to use the standard my... Oh, actually, hang on. God damn it. This is very clever, but also very difficult to remember. You have to send the data in as a... What? As a nothing. What the actual fuck? Okay, so it's a check for the arguments, which is not necessarily a bad idea. Um... So do glob ops get uh, initialized from, um, oh right, this actually defines a global, um, right, right, this is going to define a global, uh, a global thingy. Okay. So the kind of bad thing here is every program has to do its own sort of uh, uh, sort of, and I think query string just sets glob ops. So yeah. Okay. So that just sets glob ops, and you can override them with global options. Okay. So this would be f equals data server. Um, for right now, we're just going to give a piece of data. Um, I am so tempted to just use ncat here. And yes, I really, okay, this one again might be one of those, because uh, I do know how to do sockets, but it, they're difficult. So let's go ahead and make this program even more inefficient by calling ncat. And we'll see how BC, or actually, hang on, we, we might actually look to see how the testing program does it. Um, da -da 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 -da. Map data, by, okay. Wait. Okay. Um, so that gets the metadata, which I'm not too worried about right now. Uh, request data. Okay, so where is map data defined? Well, it's got to be in oh BC map server lib. Well, why not? Okay. Um. Oh, what the hell? This doesn't connect anything then. 
Okay. So this just reads its own files. That's lame. So this number connects to um, port? No, it does not. No, okay, so this is... Um, this map server testing apparently does not connect to a port. This just actually includes the map server data inside itself. Not useful. Okay. Okay. Uh, which means actually you need to figure out what the map server expects. Um, um, okay. Well, it does at least debug what it's getting out in. Um, okay, I guess for some reason this um, pretends it is a web server. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the BC map server testing does not connect to this at all. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and rerun BC uh, map server, but this time I'm going to run it with, um, with debug. Oh. Okay, yeah, because I do want to see what it, it's thinking. All right. Testing, port number not constant. I'm hoping it... Okay, it is listening on port 22779. Okay, and so now... Uh, uh, we need to end cat. Um, and I thought I knew how to do this. Okay. Oh, it is. And oh, okay. Okay. So by default, it's going to do what I want. I, th I don't need. To, I'm trying to get options to see what I want. Okay. So get root processing map can't determine. Okay. So it d it does run, and the cool thing is this is all on the server. This is the server that's spitting out this output. So if I went over here to a different screen, if I went over here to a different screen, uh, okay and did this I could still get the the data here is okay so that's that's the data um, and over here in in the other one it's going to show me the actual yeah the debug messages are still coming in over here fantastic okay good deal um, so now I guess the problem is if this thing's going to act like a web server Do I need to proxy it? Alright. Now there is a way to get security on puppies like this, but it is like freaking difficult. Um HTTPS or proxy, okay, so I actually had that as an idea. Um Okay. So I did create a server once that actually figured out how to be HTTPS with using my TerraMap Adventure cer uh, certificate. <laughs> and I think, though, it was in, in Yamak Git. Um, probably not, though. Ooh. Quantized data. Um, I know I've done this. Read socket testing. It might be socket testing. It might not be. There's no. Oh shit! I was very clever and I decided not to put two T's in there. Um. Oh this. Oh okay. This is. I actually created a secure web socket. Uh, is what I ended up doing. But web sockets actually are limited to how much data you can put through them. Um. Okay. Okay, so 
so that was that was the magic is you I could do uh, secure web sockets um, and using the let's encrypt certificate so I think that is not exciting to us anymore oh yeah well, hang on yeah websocket secure so it's not a it's not a generic secure server it's a websocket secure server now there's probably a way to do that uh, using um, S open SSL or something that makes the uh, makes it a secure server let's look into that after Pomodoro back in two and two And we are almost back. And we're back. Okay, so I'm hoping that making this um, pseudo web server secure in Perl is actually really easy. I don't know why I think that's true, but... And I'm hoping this isn't going to tell me how to run... Okay. Um... Okay, that's not quite oh shit. It's not quite what I want. Let's see if we can we can find what I do want. Perl HTTPS server. Okay, so there is a there is a simple um um Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone has written a library that is non-standard. IO socket SSL seems like it's, um, well, let's see what I'm using here to listen. I think it is IO socket that I'm using here. It is. Good. Um, Okay. So maybe it's like literally the same thing. Um Wow. The only problem is that I know I'm gonna have to somewhere specify what certificates I'm using. Um da 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 Oh yeah, SSL cert file, SSL key file. That does not seem too bad. Okay. So we will go ahead and use IO socket SSO. And we will create the socket. Where do we create the socket? Get server. Okay. That's okay. Okay. So that's the code we need to kind of replace. Uh, 
just going to copy and paste this so we have it in the same place. Okay. Wow. This is almost exactly cut and place replacement. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Cool. And so the only thing we really need to add here, and this is maybe where it's going to get effed up, um, because I don't think I have a, a key on this machine. I do on my DigitalOcean machine. Um, I think I even know where it is, which is really useful. Okay. All right. Port da -da -da -da. So we may have to give this like a secure insecure option. Um, and I do need to fill in those those keys. But then I'm pretty sure I can do from um, this guy here. Uh, oh, shiny. Wait. Oh, how is this different from a regular socket? I guess the only difference here is net web socket server as opposed to hmm my SSL server equals blah 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 and then we do a listen oh I guess the listen gets to be up here but still wait do, am I doing I must be doing a listen right if I want to yeah oh here we are um okay oh wow so really the websocket is one more step and this was really clever I looked checked to see whether or not the um the the files that I need for encryption exist God damn it. I've done all this work then. Uh, let's see. So can I actually just edit game engine websocket secure to do what I want? Uh, it's going to be ugly, but okay. All right. Okay. So this is very ugly. So this could apparently listen on HTTPS if it wanted to. And I could even make it conditional on whether or not it's running on the uh, DigitalOcean server or this server. I hate my life. Okay. But let's go ahead and, um, you know, copy this code, I guess. The only, literally the only difference here is that I'm not doing a WebSocket. Um, set up web, so this is just fucking stupid. I'm gonna cut and paste this code here. Um, directory where encryption keys are stored. I. Don't, I shouldn't have to do this because I'm already going to do a my web my server. So that's okay there. Um, ooh, not not great. Um, this should just be server. I guess the one thing this doesn't do is it doesn't um, 
it doesn't try to listen on different ports. Uh, it doesn't have that while loop to listen on different ports. Um, I think I can live without that, though. Listen 5, local port will be 22779. Um, else... Um, are these? Oh, I guess IO socket SSL and wow. So, what is the normal socket? IO socket Unix. Okay, so I'm going to basically try that. I use two diff totally different things here, and I don't think I needed to. Else, server equals, not else, else. Else, server equals, um, basically this, but we're going to use the Unix, and we don't need the, we don't need the, I mean, I, don't, I, I can actually probably include the keys, and nothing bad would happen, but um, we don't need them, because we're not encrypting. And this is IS Unix. Now, if this still works after all this dangling, I'll be very impressed. Uh, am I nested inside? No, this is just a regular function. I think here we can just return server. Okay, if this if I, this hasn't broken it, I'm absolutely and definitely going to um, GitHubify this. But I would be surprised if I haven't broken it. Did I? Oh, did I? Did I capitalize Unix the correctly? Yep, I did not. May all your bugs be small ones. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Um. Now this is going to be weird because it's going to print an error even if there isn't one, but if there is one, this will help. Invalid argument. Um. Oh. Yeah, no commas at the end. Okay, still doesn't work. Hmm. I'm curious, well, I could put this on DigitalOcean and see if it works there, but let's just do a Perl doc on IO socket Unix. Uh, and I wish there was a way to format this better. I think if I do this to more, it'll give me the correct formatting. Kind of. Okay, um... Using sockets in the AF Unix domain. Uh, already suspicious. This should probably be IO socket TCP. Um, yep, already suspicious here. Do I even need... Uh, well, let's see if we need that. Okay. Because that, I think, is for Unix domain sockets. Um, all right. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Okay, this creates using sockets. Um, do I need, like, maybe I don't even need to put TCP here. Okay, hang on. So this creates sockets of any kind, maybe. 
Um, see what that does. Cannot configure a generic socket. All right, that's a helpful error. Okay. Um, listen, local port proto. So, um, okay, that is a Googleable error, and I think I know it's it's going to say you need like you need I/O socket TCP or something, but we do, couldn't find that. But. Um, uh. Oh. It demands a domain argument. Yes, perhaps I am thinking of that. All right. Now I'm pretty sure I'm going to need IO socket SSL. Let's see what happens if I don't do it, though. I like breaking things. Um, okay, so I do need both that and um, INET. So I was, this is a mistake because I was thinking Unix domain sockets, which are different. Now, it still won't work. Oh, shit, it worked. Um, this error is meaningless because it actually worked. The errors only make sense if it doesn't work. Okay. I'm going to run one more time after I did that, and then I'm going to save it to Git. Um, I guess it is listening and it just doesn't say anything. So over here, can I ncat? What did I do? Uh, I did. I didn't do ncat. Oh, I think I did it in the same place. So it was ncat. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's working. All right, pushing it over. And it has all been nicely pushed over to Git. Okay. Now the question is, is this going to work securely on DigitalOcean? So let me go ahead and push it over there, uh, which I have to do from the other machine. Um, assuming I can remember how which I can't. Um, oh, actually. Uh, wow, do I not have that? Am I really not? able to uh, mirror to my terabap adventure okay maybe I just did it like from here or sync oh, I guess I did yep looks like that's exactly what I did um, so in this case it's still an API so I guess we could um, but it's in the maps directory uh, And I guess if I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to give it um, BC. Okay, so this may be that my. Um, hmm. I can probably get this working, but I mean, the question is oh, it's going to be ugly. Because I don't even know if there is a home user BC get on a DigitalOcean. Um, let me go check, actually, real quick. Okay, I don't even know if there's a way to connect to it. <sighs> is it really just SSH? Yeah, it is. It's literally just SSH root at Terramap Adventure. I am... Um, terrible person. Venture.com, and hopefully my keys will get me in there. No. 
All right, stand by. Please stand by. Ah. Okay. Uh, this is going to be really ugly then to get this working. I do want to check that it is working securely over HTTPS. Saved by the Pomodoro, back in 2 and 2. Okay, we are almost back. And we are back. Okay, so apparently I did not and still do not have a um, really good way to put stuff on my DigitalOcean machine. Now, if this works, it's because I created some private keys earlier and decided I would be really dangerous and let myself log into uh, my DigitalOcean machine from here. But at this point, it appears it's just going to hang. Um, okay. <sighs> All righty. Let's just see what we're doing here. I might have this on README stream. Oh, that worked. Okay, so do I have a home user here? I do. So I should even be able to like a get pull from here. Uh, I'm suspicious. Da 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 da. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, looks like that worked. Okay, so now can I do... Wow, I'm all over the place. Uh, oh, okay. A little bit slow, not sure why. Let me see if I can... Let me test something here real quick. There's a really nasty program that is sucking up my bandwidth like crazy but I turned it off temporarily I think uh <laughs> I like that I like that um you know the the weird thing is I think that um because I look for VPSs and I, you know, if they're, I just buy them based on price and what they give me. Um, I don't actually know where this server is. Somewhere in the cloud, maybe. It's a good question. Um, let's see if I have MTR installed here. Let's see where, we should be able to find the server. 
All right, find trace route. Okay, I could in theory install all these things, but um, I, I don't really care where it is as long as it works. Okay, Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay, BC map. Why is this okay? This is going to be dot BC map server dot pl minus minus debug. Okay, it should be the latest version. Well, let me take a look. Maybe I forgot to push it. Well, no, I did push it just now. Um, I own it. Da -da -da -da. Yes, and they give you actually a choice of regions. Um, <laughs> Somewhere on the region east. <laughs> um, I've got a server in London somewhere. Um, I think. No, I do, I do, I do. Um, this is not the one in London, though. Okay, so why... The only thing I can think of here is... Um, that I don't... I mean, I should have this one installed easily. And then SSL will be the other one. Okay, well, it's complaining. Okay, that's not cool. In fact, it's super not cool because... There should be like a... Uh, oh, no, actually, hang on. Hmm. Yeah, I, I know. I, yeah, because it used to be you could just fire them up and like run them for as little time or as much time as you wanted, and they charged for like Rackspace did that, Masso did that, a couple other people did that, um, and I guess they got sick of trying to collect on pennies. Uh, plus, the tax situation must have been a nightmare. Um, so yeah, I think Google. Does Google still allow, like, per minute usage, or have they also gone to the, um, gone to the, um, hello, milk is removed. Okay, so why the hell is CPAN not working, and let's see if we can do this. Huh, 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 huh? Nice, nice. You are you are definitely helping out the cause here, of of women. Um, the free tier I think only lasts for one year though, because I got that, and you only uh, get. I don't know what today's stream is about. I never know. I hope I can figure this out. I'm trying to run a um, quasi web server to serve data on my DigitalOcean machine, except um, clearly very bad things have happened. And, and to the point where ooh what the hell is this have I been busted someone actually ooh ooh has someone fucked my server over Um, oh, you know, you're right, but you do have, yes, yes, you're right, because I use their map service on the free tier. Um, yes, yes, no, you're right, I forgot about that. Yes, yes, but the, but the usage, uh, is that for their server, or is that just for their um, services, like the map server and stuff? Well, screw you, because I'm nowhere near today's goal. I think I might have actually moved backwards and through today's gold. Goal. It's not grindy, but it's just 
So now I'm worried that someone's running something on my machine. Um, all right, hang on. Who will be listening on my ports? Um, that does not look good at all. CS listener, Etsy services, port 9000. Okay. Well, it's not open at least in that way. Um It wait, what? It's for a Linux VM, so it's a real server. Okay. Do you have a, a free server from uh, Google for 3 years or do you mean like their map services and their other APIs that are free within a usage tier? Cuz I'm pretty sure I couldn't get a free server out of them after 1 year. Okay, so why are we listing on SMTP? That's not cool. We don't do any sort of mail thing. Hang on, that's... Have I been hacked or am I just being stupid? Okay. I am like seriously unhappy now. Three two three. That's UDP though. Why am I listing on all these freaking ports? And these guys are probably trying to to break my server. That that's kind of weird. Um, okay, well I'm gonna have to fi find that. I'm gonna have to get that out of Google myself then. Um, I'm gonna pretend like everything's okay. Hmm. Okay, I mean, it looks like this stuff is okay here. Sent, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll look in, I'm going to make a note to look into that, actually. Um... I know GitHub pages will let you host static content, and uh, places like Heroku will let you run some Ruby code. Jesus Christ, stop already. Control C. Um. Okay, not looking too good there. Mm. Ease. God damn it. Maybe control Z will help. Control C, control Q. It's just ignoring me. All right, so things are looking pretty bad right now. We are trying to test a map server on DigitalOcean to see if it will work securely. Um, but clearly terrible things are happening right now. One of which is I can't seem to stop this scroll of a command that I requested. Um, 
And the other is my CPAN is totally effed up somehow. I could probably do CPAN config or something to get it back. Uh, but the other thing it looks like is that maybe someone has hacked into my server, which is not cool. Um, and the one way I could test that is by using the last command, if I could ever get out of this freaking command, which I can't seem to. And the other problem here is it looks like the really, really heavy network usage on my DigitalOcean machine, even though uh, my stream is going excellently. Um, um, all right, I actually got a message on Stack, but I'm going to have to, uh, on Twitch, but I'm going to ignore it for now. Okay. So really not great. Um, I could end map it, but since I'm on it, I think I kind of want to, I kind of want to just wait until basically this command ends and then do a last on it. See what's going on there. Um, all right, how long am I going to wait here? Let's wait another couple of seconds here. If that doesn't work, we'll move on to something else for right now until it's done doing whatever it's doing here. Um, yeah, the fact that it's so slow worries me. I want to run ntop on this as well. Because uh, someone's clearly running something here that they shouldn't be running. Alright, from here I can just do quickly... Let's see what the hell is going on. Um, quite quite a bad thing to run into when we were in the middle of trying to write a lovely um, a lovely data server. Um, that's okay. That's okay. That's probably okay, even though I don't really want it there. Um, and this filtered, I think, is because we're filtered outbound on that port. Okay, finally. So what is top telling us? Oh my god. Am I running Docker on this machine? I mean, that is just freaking awesome if I am. That would explain why it's so slow. Um. That did not help at all. All right, well. I think it's docker list. Or is it docker list containers? Oh. Hmm. Docker container list. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah, I didn't think it was. Um, all right. I think it's volumes list that I want. What? Volume list. Okay. So I'm literally running Docker with nothing. I mean, that has got to be the insanely stupidest thing. Nope, not the stupidest thing I've ever done. So there's Docker Run, Docker Run. I'm, I'm on another machine right now. Docker Container. Oh, that's what I want. Docker Container List. Unless I already did that. Docker Container. I did do that. Okay. That is outstandingly, amazingly stupid. Let me check to see if anybody else has been on this machine that... Um, nope, it's all me. 
Okay. Let me look in varlib docker where it tends to keep its shit. Containers. Great. I'm literally running docker for no reason. That is just amazing. Oh, hang on. I think it's system control list service. List. Service? Minus T service. Uh, Pomodoro time, back in two and two. And we are almost back. And we are back. Okay. We're running a lot of crap here. Some of this is actually useful, but... Engines I'm definitely running for... On per Why am I running postfix? Hang on. Actually... I really, really need to fix this fucking machine. Um, wow. So let's take a look at the process list here. That, that's quite a bit of a... Uh, that's quite a bit of processes there. Okay. Um, I guess since we're going to... Um, squash fuse is fine, actually. Let's see the proxy map. Pick up. All right. For, I'm just going to stop postfix for right now. Um, okay, so I, I thought I already stopped Docker. Okay, let's see what's still running. Uh, is Docker still running? Okay, good. Um, is Postfix still running? Okay, good. Uh, There's no reason for RPI, RPC bind to be running either, actually. Um... So I need to disable some of these services permanently at some point. Um, now this machine is fucked up. Okay. Now getting back to CPAN config. Well, actually, let me do a top to see what's still running. Okay. System D probably needs to be running. In fact, I think system D is what runs the system, which is... Um, uh, yeah, system D is the... Okay. Let's just see if I can now... I, if there's no reason this should work, because it didn't before. Yeah. So let's do CPAN config. Uh, 
Um, okay, let's try this then. If I were smart, I would tar up what's in my C-Pan now to see if it was an attack. Okay. Okay. So now, hopefully, C-Pan will work properly. Those errors aren't as bad as I thought they would be, but they're still pretty bad. Okay, nope. So is there a CPAN clean, clear, redo, fuck you, whatever? Okay. All right, let's see how we can fix CPAN. Ah. Uh. See what the hell's. I mean, I, I do want to see what the hell's going on at some point, but for right now, let's just collect up the bad crap. Let me make a note here. We need to do serious work on DigitalOcean Server, including turning off bad services. That's good enough for right now. Um, okay. So this is pretty damn ugly what we're doing here. I'm going to try to remove and reinstall CPAN, but the problem with that's going to be, um, I'm pretty sure there's other dependencies, other things have to be removed for CPAN to be removed. Um, and I could reinstall them, but it could become a, like a really ugly nightmare. Um, so we will we will have to look at that. Knew it was a bad day for streaming. Um, so the initial goal here, which we're we're far away from now, is to uh, make Map Server act like a web server, have it run securely, and have it give uh, data as a separate web server from BC API. Uh, which is actually a terrible idea, so I'm not sure why I'm doing it. But I am. All right, if anyone in chat wants to say anything, uh, this would be a good time to, uh, to distract me. Um, and it appears that the only real person, well, I don't know if the devil is OB, is, is really, a, lemon juice is 12 might be, we're doing, anyway, and who is busy working on his own shit. Uh, every day is a bad day. That's probably true, actually. Every day is a bad day for streaming. So this is, this is kind of sucky here. And we're not even actually at the stage of fixing this. We're still at the stage of keeping a copy of the bad stuff, just in case it turns out we can, it's an attack of some sort, as opposed to, uh, I guess we could continue with the server stuff uh, locally. Um, so let's maybe try that. Okay. Uh, so are we running a server? Um, yeah, we are. 
Yes, we are. Okay. Um, does it do anything useful? Let's see. Right now... <laughs> it does tell you what it gets. Um... Wow. Stir to hash ref. Cam. So this actually looks like it's going to be requesting a, um, okay, so this is a hash ref, which is what HR stands for. Um, X, Y, and Z. So this is going to be requesting a tile. And then I'm going to suck down some crap for, for to get the tile and return it in this um, maybe base 64, but um, I don't know if I actually do that. Uh, no, I do. Okay. And so then the data is going to be, which it doesn't seem to be, in base 64 of whatever I'm looking for. Um, right, and I need to move this to be a Mercator projection, and, okay, I was hoping that would waste enough time, nope, still going, all right, well, let's look at my readme stream, see if there's anything else we could do, that now that I'm disheartened, um, by the way, if you've looked at the number of COVID deaths, it is actually falling, we're down to only like 1,100 yesterday, um, and this we don't need to do because we actually already have them. Oh, and the other thing we could do with COVID data is look to see, people are like, oh, it's the biggest killer. It's not, I already showed that. Um, but it might become the biggest killer. And the question is, you know, uh, what data do we use for estimation uh, to see if it becomes the biggest killer? And at this rate, it's just crappy. It's just not gonna do it. Uh, linear model, and, but even for this, even if we use these numbers, which are from 2017 in this URL, we would have to increase them slightly because we have more people now. Um, so let's see. Uh, I think this is not relevant. So packing is, this is good, but we don't do it anymore. Um, okay, and I guess the one thing we do need to do here is um, somewhere there was world data that I wasn't using, and I, I don't remember where it was, but let me go ahead and do a git pull, even though I did one yesterday evening, and up oh, there was a little couple of changes, and I'll do a pull here, and I need to remember the data that had the world data in it, and whether it had it in a format, because right now I have the country data individually, but not the, not the world data. Um, okay. Okay. Oh, fgrep minus v dot git, fgrep minus v dot pdf, okay, xrs grep minus l world. Wait, what? That shouldn't have happened. That, that's very strange. I'm going to ignore that, though. Okay, so maybe the world data is, that's the World Health Organization, worldometers. Is that where you're getting data, or is this where you're sending data? No, it's just data source, apparently. Um, okay, let's do that over here. Um, not cool. I could have sworn there was a, um, I mean, it's going to be here in the data worldwide ag. Oh. Yeah, maybe we should be looking for files uh, who have the world world in them. Yeah, that would be a lot better. Okay, so it was in the lowercase COVID-19 data and it's worldwide aggregated. Let's see what this gives us. Okay, so this actually does give us um, recovered deaths. Increase rate is kind of silly because it's just the percentage increase rate per day, but that we can compute that. Um, increase rate would be zero, obviously, there. So the world death data, okay, okay. Uh, now, this is in a slightly different format because it doesn't have the country name. Uh, we still might be able to import it using Maxima. 
And meanwhile, yay! Wait, what? Okay, did that. Let's make sure we have enough space here. Yeah, we do. Okay. This is not going to go well. Oh, wow. Now, the question is, does my C-SPAN... Okay, that is not supposed to stay there. Shiny. Now, the question is, if I install CPAN, will it overwrite the .CPAN directory? Okay. And honestly, I don't even know if the problem is that I don't have this. Uh-oh. Not looking good. Okay. And now it occurs to me that maybe the whole problem has nothing to do with that anyway. Because usually Perl would complain about that. Okay. So it, it doesn't like the fact that it's not getting a socket. Uh, am I running screen here? I probably shouldn't be, though, actually. Um... So here's where we do something really terrible. We, we edit this over here. Right. Um, how ghetto am I willing to go here? Nope, not that ghetto. Uh, and I don't want to install Emacs here because it's really not necessary. So let's go ahead and edit it over here. Um, wow, this would have saved me a lot of time if I'd done this correctly. Um, so I think originally I even had like a debug statement that said, here's the, um, uh, no, I don't want that. Um, So we can do that. Now, if I run it over here, it should tell me the port's already in use, because it is. Uh, okay. Okay. But. Why? Oh, did I run it without debug? I did run it without debug. Address already in use. Okay, that's cool. Oh shit, I wonder if that's the problem on, on the DigitalOcean machine too. Am I running a map server already? Oh man. Ta-da! I'm a moron. Uh, 3683? Well, let's see. So, in theory... In theory, if I do HTTPS Terra Map Adventure colon, so this should give me something. Um, or, or it should give me nothing. So it's, it's trying to connect. Yep, that's not going to work either. <sighs> and I don't think there's any blocking going on here, so let's see... Let's see if... I mean, I should be able to connect to it. Okay, so this one apparently does not require encryption, even though the, the directory... Um, even though the directory let ex Etsy Let's Encrypt exists. Okay. Uh, so my conclusion for all, all this is we are now going to do something amazing. I'm going to stop streaming. Like I should have not even started today. 
Okay, thank you for watching the stream. If anyone has any suggestions before I kill the stream, we can go with that, but um, total waste of time. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this to YouTube because I like wasting time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye for now.